That's ours to slice. Dun, dun. and welcome to Slice UK, it's Brad and we're here with another pizzeria review for you. Uh, as you can see, we are at Asda, um, one of the biggest supermarkets here in the UK. Not a pizzeria, you may be shouting. Why are you at Asda? Have you done the big shop? I have actually. But uh, Asda, specifically them, do fresh pizzeria pizzas from their in-house cafes. It's no bullshit. Uh, just have a little look at this one. So there it is, a big, uh, a big New York slice. To be fair, um, you can get it by the slice, or you can buy a full pie. This slice was one pound fifty. I mean, fill your boots with that. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a bit shit, really, isn't it? I'm at Asda. Uh, Tony's been out on these uh, gl glamorous locations. He's been to, to lovely places in Cheshire doing oak and smoke. He's been to Outback with a Land Rover Defender, and I get Asda run car. Thanks. Tony's on the camera by the way, so cheers for that mate. Uh, <laughs> the reason being though in all seriousness is um, I've, uh, I'm doing a launch of my cafe soon, I'm doing like a little health food kitchen, so I've been like really balls deep into that basically. So I'm trying to stay as local as I can and uh, Tony's like going a bit further out of field and doing the other ones. So he's in Nottingham as well soon from the 12th, uh, thanks to a Instagram poll. So uh, go and check those out when they're, when they're up. So anyway, let's get on with this and get the pizza because um, it was in like a warmer. We asked for it rewarmed, for like to we sure it was like piping hot, and uh, she said, "That's what I've got the tongs for. It's already hot." So there you go. Uh, if you want me to feature in a Scouse film, then I'm uh, available. Right. This is a huge slice, by the way. Pow. I mean, that holds up. That that holds up. Uh, let's have a look at the undercarriage. Big, big old slice, that, isn't it? Uh, it's got dots on it, which uh, would suggest to me that it's not hand stretched and it's just been rolled. Uh, so it's going to be super bready or just super, super close. Right, let's see what it's like. Hmm, nice sauce. Nice sauce, yeah. Quite surprised by that. Um, somehow they've managed to make the dough sticky. Don't really know. The dough's really sticky. It's really. I, I did Papa John's for uh, another review, uh, and that was really bready. But this is like. I think this would probably weigh a stone if you put it on the. Um, if you put it on some scales. Sauce is really good. Sauce is really tangy, like proper sharp. Nice rich tomatoiness to it. Uh, not sweet at all or overly sweet. Uh, base is dreadful. Base is absolutely dreadful. It's really, really heavy, like I say, and sticky. Uh, the cheese is super, super cheesy. Is it even mozzarella? Mm. Yeah. So much low moisture mozzarella must be on that. And it's really, really greasy. It's got like loads of grease in it. Can you see that? Yep. Yep. Um, do a crust bite. <laughs> the crispness. Zero crisp. Well, no, that's unfair. It was a little bit crisp. We already know that the base is poor. Um, right, how do we score this? I mean, it's not dreadful pizza, you know. I've definitely had worse from like. Um, kebab houses or like established places you know like chains and such things like that where you go to a restaurant and you, you get a pizza um one pound fifty for a slice as well um 
Tony scored this. You've done this for the Instagram, haven't you? And you think you give it a three, seven? Yeah. <laughs> He's nailed it. Three, seven. I'm gonna go higher, you know. I don't think it's as bad as kebab house, which we go in the three to four range. I'm gonna go four and a half. Uh, four point five. I think the sauce saves that. If that was uh, if that was a bad sauce, you're looking at like a two. Um, I'm gonna go four and a half. Not quite average, below average, but I mean decent. If you're doing the big shop, go and grab yourself a slice for one pound fifty. I mean, uh, jobs are good, isn't it? Uh, if you're familiar with um, Walmart in overseas, that's basically what this is. So go and enjoy that over there if you can. I mean, I don't know. You can buy a gun, but I don't know if you can get a slice of pizza. Uh, and if you if you really um, have your eyes peeled on the channel or the Instagram, you'll notice that I've shaved the beard down slightly, and I've tried to give myself a handlebar moustache to be cool. Uh, I thought I'd look like Jesse Hughes out of Eagles of Death Metal. Uh, if you don't know who that is. Um, maybe try Hollywood Hulk Hogan instead. But Hogan will be prepared. Um, so yeah, I rate the handlebar moustache probably a 0.4. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and um, like and subscribe if you're watching it on the YouTube. Uh, head over to our Instagram for all the rest of the content. We're going to be doing two pizzeria reviews a week, um, not long. We'll do a little announcement and let you know when we're doing it. But thanks very much for watching. Get down to Asda uh, and remember. That's as the slice.